Hi, I'm Bob Monker, and you're watching Newcastle Fans TV. Hello everybody, welcome to the whiteboard. If you're wondering, I've got a scarf on, I've just literally walked in. It's freezing outside the winds, uh, Pierre. Pierre Windy, that makes sense, <laughs> right? So I'm going to start with Newcastle this time. We normally begin with the wayside, but I had these up from last week. So I thought, right, we'll start, may as well start with Newcastle. No fan league promotion. I know a lot of you were twisting on in the last video, but hey, we've got to do it once in 20 videos every week. So bear with us with that. It's paying for an expensive camera, you know what I mean? Right, so... Newcastle in. Um, will there be any changes here? Will Kieran Clark come in at centre back? Because Florian Lejeune's played the last two, and maybe, you know, Florian Lejeune's done nothing massively wrong except from that half penalty. But does Kieran Clark come in here for a little bit of leadership? Because I think Newcastle will be under the cosh with a lot of high balls. I think Kieran Clark possibly may come in as well. I think Mankiw will continue at left back. I'll be surprised if he changes that. And I think Newcastle will be quite quite high up this time around, playing on the counter. They're not so much getting forward. I think we'll sit and they'll try and hit one on the counter. We know that um, Burnley press really, really high as well, so we'll come on to them in a moment. But I think Mikel Moreno, he's got to start, hasn't he? Because he got the winner last time out, and Newcastle's midfield, Hayden and Shelby against Crystal Pass were pretty woeful, I have to say. So I would start Shelby and Moreno on this one, just to so get a bit of um, attack and flair going forward on the counter, that makes sense, because we know that Mikel Moreno can bring the ball forward to feet, whereas Shelby's not that type of player. Shelby will literally pick the ball off, as we know, off a defender, and then literally spray one for one of the runners. So we've got two options there in midfield. I would like to say that. Let us know what you think as well. Um, the fullbacks, I've got them quite high up as well. You can see that the midfield I have as well, Atsu and Rishi quite high up rather than getting forward. We know that Atsu likes to come early here and pick the ball up and run anyways. So I don't think that'll be much change for him. I think he will do that. Matt Rishi will just continue to work hard uh, up and down that flank as well. I think Iosia Perez needs to get in the game as well. Because I think Newcastle will play a lot deeper, Perez is going to be expected to have the ball and release it. Is he good, is he good at that? I don't think so. I think Mo Diame is better at doing that than Iosia Perez, but will Rafa go for Diame? I can't say it. Although, again, Rafa does, does uh, chuck an odd surprise here. When they're against Palace, Diame and Mutovic, to be fair, made things happen, made a little bit of panic going on. But I think Perez is going to have to get the ball. And none of this fancy flicking, none of that crap, just simple. And then Perez move as soon as he's, as soon as he's passed the ball. I think Hosselu's going to need service because a lot of people are criticising him against Crystal Palace. But to be fair, if your strikers don't get service, they don't touch the ball. So I, it's going to have to be down to, because I don't feel these two against Crystal Palace and the centre midfield, to be fair, didn't offer it much going forward for the striker. So Hoslow is going to need it when the ball's played at feet as well to him. If he's got his back to go like that, he's going to need then the runners, in particular Atsu and Richie and probably even Moreno, because I don't think Shelby will, will run on, then have bodies going past him because there's no point playing a long ball to Hoslow and he flicks it on. We've got nothing in behind. That was the frustration against Crystal Palace because we don't play that way. So if, then again, you're going to have to get crosses in as well if these have the balls. You know what I mean? I don't think Yedlin and Mankey will get forward as much as well. Uh, I think they'll sit back and then just let the rest of the midfield bomb on. Occasionally, of course, they will get forward. Do you know what I mean? But I mean, most of the time. Lascelles, absolutely fantastic this season as well. He'll obviously command his box as well. He's had a great start of the season. Whether it's Clark, who is a talker himself, or whether it's Florian Lejeune. If it's Florian Lejeune, Florian Lejeune will be going to this away ground to, to Turf Moor, which we're at, by the way. Um... Be like, whoa, this isn't the Premier League, because no disrespect to Burnley, the ground isn't the nicest on the eye. And if it's windy, it's Monday night, raining, can Florian Lejeune stick at it? We we'll hope so, if not, bring Ian Clark in as well. Rob Elliott as well, uh, his distribution needs to be spot on as well for other counter-attack as well. But enough of Newcastle, let's get out with Burnley. Re uh, Burnley then. Uh, so, Burnley 4-4. Four, four. 1-1 one, one formation that they'll play. And what the first thing they'll do is, well, Newcastle fullbacks, the likes of DeAndre Yedlin, Javi Mankio, probably asking himself Chris Nacho and Matt Ritchie are going to have to double up because Burnley, that's how they score the goals, is get the ball out wide and whip it in for Chris Wood. So straight away, you're going to have to then, what, sort of stop the supply, going to Brady, Arfield, and possibly the fullbacks who will bomb on as well. So what they'll do is obviously Cork and Defoe will sit Cork. Um, Newcastle will link them actually a couple of years ago as well. Pass of the ball. You probably see West will come on later on as well, like for like. But they'll get the ball out wide to the likes of Brady. Now Brady's got an absolutely unreal delivery. The Irishman. You play on the right, you'll cut in on the left. So it's going to have to be, you're going to be looking at your left back, which is Javier Manquillo. He's just stopping from getting on his left foot. So put him onto his right. Keep him on his right foot to so stand there and put him on his right foot because he's not going to cross on his right foot as well. So he's got absolutely set pieces, corners, you name it. 
absolutely brilliant. Probably one of the best in the Premier League to have to be said. So that's there's there's a threat straight away. You'll see Matt Lawton bombing on. You'll see Stephen Ward bombing on as well in support of Arfield as well. Arfield will probably come in a little bit inbound as well. But DeAndre Yedlin and Matt Ritchie. I think Ritchie could look after these two. I think Ritchie would be fine because no Ritchie will be up and down this wing. So that's a problem for Burnley itself, never mind for us, because Richie will be up and down there as well. The two midfielders, they'll sit and dic 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 dictate it. Hendrick will be moving around as well. He'll come over here. He'll move about, which then will give, because if Hendrick, Hendrick pulls his centre-back away, that'll then leave Chris Wood free to do his movement. Now, we've seen um, Chris Wood in the Championship last season. If you if you put a cross in the box, he, he punished us when we left him free in the last minute, you know, at St. James Park when we drew 1-1. You can do over the top balls as well. He's got a pace. He's got something about him, Chris Wood as well. Probably not fancy by many, but you know he's got three goals so far this season. How many can he probably get? It's fifteen too much to ask for him. Stop the supply line. I think this is where Newcastle can win the game because going through the middle, I honestly think the likes. This is why I think Iosi Press is so important to keep the ball as well because I think Shelby and Moreno can boss these two. I really, really do. But then you're going to have to ask yourself, look, Press again. You're going to need to touch the keep the pole of the ball. That's why I actually think Modiom is probably better suited for this game. Although uh, I don't, I, I don't rate Modiom as much, you know. But uh, Tarkowski's actually got a hell of a ping on him. He's uh, done, or he's done pretty good since coming in because this old Michael Keane didn't they? And obviously Tarkowski's come in as well. He's had a good uh, partnership with Ben Mee. Uh, that will probably be continue. We'll probably be the one up top. So you'll have Hoslow here, and you'll probably have one of them on him and then the other one covering as well in case there's any long balls and the likes of the full backs will bomb on as well um, I don't think it's going to be pretty I think as long as we can perform better than Crystal Palace I know we've got the win but if we play ugly and win fair enough you know the last thing I want is going all the way to Burnley and not getting out Um record isn't great there you know Monday Night Football's our records aren't great either just hopefully um, we can do it score predictions pff, I think it's going to be a bore draw Um both sides don't score many goals, so it's probably going to end up something like a nil-nil or a 1-1. Let me know what you think in your comments down there below. See you. Bye-bye.